All right, it is time. Finally, really get into this. We're through the tutorial. Hey, uh, it's me, okay, Emily. we've got an achievement. <clears throat> yes, so exciting. Always getting achievement. We're going to be getting a bunch of achievements because um, I have not actually played Enhanced Edition on Steam. So I have played this before, but uh, it is going to be basically a new uh, entry. Thing is totally vanilla. We're going to get lots of achievements along the way. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I followed you, but I never get out of candle keep, and those monks are such a bore. Never decent. Never any decent coin in their pockets, neither. Um. So here's the thing: is she left Candlekeep? But she probably doesn't realize she can't go back. So that's that's pretty stupid of her. <laughs> he says, uh, "I saw I, I saw Gorion, and I am so sorry. Kind of figured something bad might happen to you out here." Um, so I'll say, "How could you have known? Gorion did not even tell me. I accidentally read a letter on his desk the other day. Can't remember exactly what it said, but he might still have." It might be on his his body. Anyway, I'm not going to let you wander around out here all alone. Never let a friend down. No, sir. Stick with you until you say otherwise, I will. About to say otherwise. Um. So she's going to be sad. Just, just like that? But we are friends and everything. Been friends for years. I guess... I guess I'll just wait till you need me again. Because you will. Just wait and see. So, he's gonna stand here um, until Baldur's Gate 2, and then in Baldur's Gate 2 we're gonna see her again. So, she's- yep. Hi, Emelyn! Bye, Emelyn! Have a good time! Hope you don't get hungry. Um, now we need to find Gorion's body. I forget where exactly that is. Ah, it's over there. And he does have some stuff. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff here. I have to loot the bodies. We've got a girdle, a scroll, a dagger, and some gold. Let's see if anyone can uh, identify this. Can identify. The bard is going to have the highest lore of zero. Well. Uh oh. Lore 13. Send it over to the wizard. Bard scale floor pretty well. Well, I can't identify it yet. Need an identify spell. Okay, what's on the scroll? <laughs> ah. Please forgive the abruptness. Or my dear friend Gorion, please forgive the abruptness which, with which I now write. But time is short and there is much to be done. What we have long feared may soon come to pass, though not in the manner foretold. Certainly not in the proper time frame. As we both know, Forecasting these events has proved increasingly difficult, leaving little option other than a leap of faith. We have done what we can for those in thy care, but the time nears when we must step back and let matters take what course they will. We have, perhaps, been a touch too sheltering to this point. Despite my desire to remain neutral in this matter, I could not, in good conscience, let events proceed without some measure of warning. The other side will move very soon, and I urge thee to leave Candlekeep this very night, if possible. The darkness may seem equally threatening, but a moving target is much harder to hit, regardless of how sparse the cover. A fighting chance is all that can be asked for at this point. But anything go awry, do not hesitate to seek aid from travelers along the way. I do not need to remind thee that it is a dangerous land, even without our current concerns, and a party is stronger than an individual in all respects. Should additional assistance be required, I understand that Jahira and Khalid are currently at the Friendly Arm Inn. They know little of what has passed, but they are ever thy friends, and will no doubt help however they can. Luck be with us all. I'm getting too old for this. E. Oh, bit of a lore dump there. He says we're going to go We find this Jahira and Khalid. Gem. Hold. 
need the bow. That's not really worth anything. Gold. Got all the armor we need to head and move on. We're just going to go to the edge of the map. If you haven't played this game before, you got to get to the edge of the map to do a map transition. And a lot of the time, which side you exit has an impact on what you'll be shown. It's a pretty huge world. Yes, so you can see here. Um, this time, though, I think this is definitely... Oh, we'll click on that. We can't go directly here because we haven't been there before. Same with Beragost, so we have to go to Beragost later. First, we got oh, to... So a guy in red robes walks up to us. Been nigh unto a ten day since I've seen a soul walking this road. And I've been without decent conversation since. Traveling nowadays appears to be the domain of either the desperate or the deranged. If thou wouldst pardon my intrusion, may I inquire which pertains to thee? The desperate or the deranged. Uh, not to imply anything, but how do you measure up to your own standards? Pestering strangers about their mental state doesn't seem to be all that well adjusted to me. Point well taken, and thou hast answered my query most adequately. I shall think of thee as determined instead. I shall trouble thee no more, as thou art more than capable of the task at hand. North is the friendly arm in, where I am certain thou shalt find trustworthy friends awaiting. I have said too much and taken too much time from thee. Fare thee well. Okay, strange old man. Got it. You want Wonder who he could be. Couldn't be uh, anyone important. So oh, here is a diseased gibberling on the edge of our vision. This is our auto pause kicking in, preventing us from walking headlong into a fight. Got a little bit of warning. We can just click on that. And this is our first real thing that we're going to fight against. Round end. And it's dead. Starts out pretty straightforward. We're going to get over to the friendly arm in and kick things off. Once we get there, the game gets a lot harder. Big fight at that point. Also, if you go off the road here, there are some there's some wildlife. We're going to try to avoid that. Now, they're pretty strong, actually. We don't really want to be fighting them too much. Oh. Uh, this guy says, if you don't mind, please try to keep your voices down. There be beasties about with better hearing than we. Sorry to have disturbed you. I'll be on my way. I did not intend for my words to scare you away. They were a simple warning of dangers true. And meant us nothing more. The occasional chat is certainly welcome. But perhaps today is just not the best day for it. The denizens of this wood seem to have grown rather aggressively. As gruesome as it sounds, they've probably become accustomed to humanoid meat. Can't really blame them, though. Too many people lost their means to the iron shortage and have turned to the land for sustenance. Monsters and animals must find food somewhere. I'd keep your weapons at the ready as you travel. Sound advice. Bring the arm into the north. Where we're we going? Northward. That's him. We made it. Here is the friendly arm in. We're gonna drop a quick save. You want it? You've got it. Good fight with these guys inside of here. Not these guys. They're guards. Don't attack them. This may or may not go well. You may have to try this a couple times. This fight is pretty hard. As soon as we go up here. This guy, I think. Maybe not. Here. Hi, friend. Ah, yes. That guy. Hi, friend. I've not seen you here before today. What brings you to the friendly arm? I'm here to meet some friends. Oh, you must be who I am to meet, then. I will take you to your friends. But first, I should be sure you are the correct person. Is your name Strongacus Maximus? Hmm. Sorry, but no, I don't think you're the person I'm supposed to meet. Really? 
I would beg to differ. You fit the description, so I think it would be safe to assume you are the one I seek. Don't move. I have something. Uh, yeah, we're gonna move. We are, in fact, gonna move. He is a mage. I cast some spells at us. <clears throat> and you can see our journal updates another assassination attempt, as it, it, in case it wasn't clear. He is gonna try to assassinate us. So, um, we do not have any magic on our bard, but we do have bard song. Use that. And our mage here does not have any offensive magic other than sleep spell. We're gonna cast that. Maybe it'll work. It probably won't. Um, the round ends here. Sleep is cast. Throw a dart next round. Fun. Maybe it'll get sleep. Round end. Oh, it worked. Let's go. He's asleep. Um, okay. Awesome. Good. Very nice. Got Gotta wait to wake up. But, uh, so he put several of us to sleep too. It's not ideal, but we won. Get some spells. Let's go. That's a big win. Actually drop all these quarterstaffs. We're gonna have these. These are not worth any money. Just dead weight. And uh, these scrolls we have. So our bard can learn these for our, uh, can learn these. And our bard can't cast them yet. No slots. Zero out of zero. Let's put these on our when he wakes up, eventually. Hooray! <laughs> we won the first fight that is particularly challenging. <clears throat> and you can see already, um, if you've ever played this before, um, he does not usually cast the sleep spell right away, even though he definitely could do this kind of a devastating effect, or perhaps much more. He has a contingency set up already. So especially if you're a solo character at this time, which you could have a party of up to four, if you're solo, it is very challenging. Most classes, they are still asleep. And <laughs> still asleep. This is the kind of problem this can cause. They'll get up soon. But we must gather our party before venturing forth. Hope you're having a good time. They will. I've got this. Just are they just dead? Like are they they're just asleep. Everything with you. Everything with you. No, no. So once we get in here, once they wake up, we will uh be able to I guess I whack them, whack them, or I can whack them with a claw. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, well, hmm, good thing we saved. Let's try that fight again. Uh, I did not realize I could one-shot my own character with a quarterstaff. I think that was a critical hit. The odds. Not gonna do that. To do the same thing. Oh. Um. Ah. Uh, anyway. Hopefully the sleep lands. This could be dangerous. Unfortunate. It did land at least. Well, it went better this time. I'm on it. Nope. <clears throat> but they had a bounty notice on them, which we didn't read last time. Punch! Thank you. Yes, that's what it was. I thought there was a way to do it. Punch them. Jeez. This wimpy guy is wimpy. 
Perfecto. It didn't wake her up. Okay, well that didn't work. Huh. Thought it would work. <clears throat> I guess we're waiting. Make a snack then. Now is the perfect time to get a snack. <laughs> A silly moment. That was not what I expected to be the first reload. Hmm, maybe we should do a reload counter. That sounds good. I hear. While we wait. That snapping feature is annoying. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> One reload. <laughs> Self-inflicted at that. Okay, everybody's awake now. That's it. Don't worry about me. I've got this. We are looking for Khalid and Dufira. He says, I can't stand the way the roads are cut off these days. My uncle's in Baldur's Gate, and I can't get there to see him. How come the roads are cut off? Where have you been these past few months? The roads are crawling with brigands and bandits after every scrap of iron you got on. Surely you must have fled some on your trip here. Unless you came by the West Road, that is. Well, for your sake and mine, I hope the roads clear up soon. I'll see you around. I sure ain't going nowhere. Interesting Come on, supposed to sleep. So you... Come on. Right, that probably is an SCS thing um, to make sleep stronger. Didn't think about that, but yeah, that's a little bit of a drawback there in that fight. Uh, there's Khalid and Jahira over here in the corner. Let's chat with them. Oh yes, it is such a classic. This is one of the best games in gaming history, in my opinion. So amazing. Um, Really, really got to recommend it. Anybody who is into RPGs at all um, can get something out of this game. I, I always joke that every game is Baldur's Gate in disguise. Um, it just is. It's like a, a trimmed down version of Baldur's Gate. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty much anything that's an RPG. Almost all of it is Baldur's Gate. It's, it's pretty great. Yeah, really encompasses everything you want. Your character voice lines. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's a good point. I mean, I haven't played Baldur's Gate 3, but I hear that the voice lines there are really good. And I played um, Icewind Dale, which has a lot of voicing. Icewind Dale has lots of voicing in it. That's really good. Um, also, um, the Torment games. They're a little different than this, but uh, the Torment games have excellent voicing as well. 
So there are a few games in this genre that are that have really good voicing. I think um, Pathfinder Kingmaker, your main character isn't voiced, but a lot of the other characters are voiced um, in Pathfinder um, and Pathfinder Kingmaker. Another one, too. So there are some modern versions, but yeah. Yeah, you know, just finished the first book of Icewind Dale and Heart of Winter now. Ah, yeah. Heart of Winter is so fun. I've been working through a um, a solo playthrough of Icewind Dale. Um, the, the beginning of the solo Icewind Dale is such a nightmare. Um, but it uh, <clears throat> it's very interesting. Very interesting game. Um, Planes can never anger the Lady of Pain. Yeah, I will make a point of not doing that. Um, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, well, I'll have to play Baldur's Gate 3 at some point. Uh, I can't run it on my Mac. I'm running on an older edition um, of Mac I'm on Mojave because I didn't want to upgrade to Catalina. So um, I cannot play Baldur's Gate 3 yet, but uh, I do plan to get a uh, another hard drive at some point with Windows on it um, that I can just cram into my setup. I just need to get a, I don't know, a terabyte hard drive or something and, and with Windows on it. And I can just boot from that drive if I want to play um, some games. So I'll, I'll definitely be picking up Baldur's Gate 3 at some point. Ah, uh, yeah, I haven't really been keeping it up, keeping up with it because I, um, like I was saying, I, I can't play it till I get that that Windows hard drive. And I want to get one pretty nice. Ah, uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it uh, it is. It's a gorgeous game. It looks visually stunning. Yeah, definitely, definitely got to recommend. I have not played this. Watching the VOD back. Got to try this game out. It's not even very expensive. Real time with pause is the, the genre. It's got such amazingly deep RPG elements. Um, it basically is Dungeons and Dragons gamified. I mean, back a fan fave character. That's good. Okay. Like that. But I, I think it's good when game developers. Uh, Pay attention to what their fans like. I, for one, like incredibly hard real-time with pause games like this and uh, for Faster Than Light. Uh, I really enjoy uh, Timberborn also on really high difficulties. This kind of a similar, uh, kind of a similar vein that that. Yes. <clears throat> Where are we? Right. Uh, good day, friend. You are the child of Gorion, are you not? I recognize you from his letters, for he writes of you often. Forgive my man. I am Jahira, and this is Khalid, my husband. Good to know you. We are old friends of your adopted father. He is not with you? I must assume the worst. He would not permit his only child to wander without his accompaniment. If he has passed, we share your loss. Orion often said that he worried for your safety, even at the expense of his own. He also wished that Khalid and I would become your guardians, if he should ever meet an untimely end. However, you are much older now, and the choice of your companions should be your own. Is Yoshimo coming back? Um, that would be cool. I thought, well, uh, I think there are some reasons why they might... They might not bring Yoshimo back. Um, yeah, uh, I, yeah, he might not come back. <laughs> we could travel with you until you get settled. Find you help, help you find your lot in life. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that, that stutter because I don't actually have a stutter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip that and just read it like normal. We could travel with you until you get settled and help you find your lot in life. Um, it would be. F a fitting last service to Gorion, though we should first go to Nashgal. Khalid and I look into local concerns, and there are rumors of strange things happening at the mine. No doubt you have heard of the iron shortage. You would do well to help us. It affects everyone, including you. You are to meet. We are to meet the mayor of the town, Baron Gaskin. Um. So what I'll do here. Um. He is a great character. He's so strong, too. Let's see. So I think what I'll do is I'll say your company would be welcome. But 
I am going to kick them out. And then they'll hang out here and be our friends. That's good. Calm yourself, dear. We must proceed carefully. <laughs> I openly question your judgment, but it is your decision to make. You do so some measure of leadership, and I should be glad to assist you in the future. Oh, Minsk and Boo. Minsk is a great care. Very well. Though I doubt Gorion would approve of me leaving you. I cannot force my company on you. These choices are yours. Oh, they're very respectful. Great characters. Definitely recommend that you play with them. Uh, Jahira especially can be quite strong. There's a scimitar you get later in the game that she can swing around really nicely. But um, for now, we have been directed with our first main quest here. Um, so they're going to hang out here. They want to go to Nash Kill. I'm not going to have them with me. As I have little else to do and a few allies, I should devote some time to investigating the cause of the iron shortage in the region. My next stop should be out of Nashville to the south. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go south. First, we're going to have a little rest. Yeah, Nero with the girdle of masculinity. It's best care. We've got some stuff to sell. Ooh, that's worth money. identify things for us. They don't really have anything. Although notably we get we could get some armor here. Let's see, so already wearing splint mail. We've got a piece of chain mail. Get another splint mail. Huh. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Yeah, it's really cool that there's that crossover there. The worlds have always been the same. Um, but having that crossover is very nice. Cool. I think we can get two splint males. Buckley's Buckler. That seems pretty good. Might want to come back and buy that eventually. Want to buy two splint males. We do. So we got a split mail there. Leather, leather, this chain mail. Okay, I think we want to get a second split mail. And that way we can put our bard in chain mail for now. These are too heavy. It's not good. I need to get rid of this quarter staff. There we go. Pass these around a bit. And we don't need this. I guess I could sell those for a coinage. Her in good armor. Nice, armor class zero. We want to put her in better armor. Let's get one of these. Another split mail. And eventually we'll take that armor off our bard and sell it. But uh, our bard needs armor for now because any spells. I need the mail. Oh, cool. It's a very cool card. Card, yeah. We will get. I will get a uh, merchant room. We don't need much healing. And a rest. Rest. I think I might have clicked the wrong thing. There it goes.
Alright, so we have rested now. You can see we're nice and well healed. That is good. Get out of here. We'll go south. Um, now, you may notice if you hold down tab, pretty much anybody with a name uh, might be worth talking to. So, for example, Nessie probably has something to say. Let's see what Nessie has to say. Here we go. Welcome to the Friendly Army. Looks like you had a rough journey. This place is a fortress. Why all the security? Bentley wanted the inn to be a safe haven for all sorts of travelers. Anyone can stay here, but we don't tolerate any trouble making these walls. Um, did Bentley build this place? It's so solid. It looks like it's been here forever. Oh no, Bentley and Galena didn't build the inn. They found it. They were part of an adventuring party, not unlike your own. In the first few years following the time of troubles, when all the gods were walking the surface of our world, the inn was actually the hold of a powerful undead priest of Baal, god of murder. With the evil cleric weakened by the death of his god, Bentley and Galena were able to destroy him once and for all, thus laying claim to his troubled fortress. There's more to this place than I would have guessed. The present is always a thin veneer over the past. Look closely at any building in the Sword Coast region, and you can be sure that its stones are held in place by history's mortar. So she dropped a little lore on us. Here is a character, Dorn. I think this is a potential PC, if you are evil. It's about time. A couple other book sets. Dale and Drizzt to Erden. Um, yeah, yeah, Drizzt is a really cool character. So yes, this guy, he can, um, he can join you if you're evil. I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm not your servant, get your own ale. Nothing would please me more. He's a rude person. Anyone back here? Look. Suri? What does Suri have to say? Ah, yes. uh, new face in this cloistered place. Stand, sit, stand by my side and let's talk for a while. What brings you here, traveler? I was an apprentice blacksmith under Teron Furium in the in Breragost. Breragost. Yeah. With the iron situation being what it is, however. I thought I'd better head somewhere else. Waterdeep, maybe. Teram's having enough trouble making a go of it as it is. He's a traveler. Right. Oh, that was interesting. Let's go. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You want it? So there's not really anything that interesting in this town. You can explore around a bit. But um there's like a temple. Actually, do we have money? We do not have money, so we can't pay to get that item identified yet. We'll figure out what that girdle is eventually. We're gonna go south. Getting kinda hungry, might need to uh, stop and make a little food here in a bit. Take a quick break for that. We'll get our way down to Baragoth's first. And then uh, probably take maybe 10 or 15. Punch on some food a uh, friendly reminder to have a little water if you haven't recently. Take some care of yourself. Maybe stretch. Got a pet? Show them some love. Got a family member around? Maybe show them some love too. Do that good stuff. It makes you feel good. So we are going to go all the way to the south. Follow the road. There is stuff off the don't want to encounter. What a beautiful area. Let's see, Aragos to the south, we're almost there. This. Must ask to Baragost, I must. Governor Keldath must be told of the extra troops being sent his way. Baragost is to be garrisoned in case of Omnian attack, though Om has denied such intent. Of course they would deny it, the snakes. Make way for the messenger. Running off in the wrong direction? That's, that's north. What? <laughs> okay. Who is this? A child? Okay. Don't you be getting any closer, or I'll have mom come and give you the belt. 
Relax, kid. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, sure. That's what the other group of bandits said. And then they went and attacked a caravan I just saw a leap. They were a bunch of liars, probably just like you. Get lost. I don't know what a child is doing out here. Um, that seems not good. But a bear boss. I've got this. Okay, and here is Golan Ven. What do you need? Need directions? You seem a friendly sort, so I thought I'd offer my services as guide. What do you need from the town of Baragost? I need some well-made weapons and armor. Do you have a good smithy? We have the best smithy in all the realms. Terom Thunderhammer Furium runs the Thunderhammer Smithy in the eastern side of town. He has a few exceptional items as well, though you could also check Feldepos Inn. They carry trophy items, though you had best be rich as kings. Feldepos Inn is the, in the west, closer to the south edge of town. Uh, that's good. We'll do that. We're gonna have. We're gonna go ahead and make some lunch, a little bit of food, and uh, I will be back here soon. Snack time for. Let's get back into the game. We have arrived at Baragost and we need to figure out what's going on with the iron. Now, I asked about the smithy. I want to figure out where he's getting his iron. Let's go talk to him and see if he has anything to say. The eastern side of town. Go down that. Now, we do want to be careful not to go into the wrong building here. One of these buildings is full of very deadly spiders. You. I don't remember which. Hey, you. Yes, oh, look, it's Nira. I don't see anybody else around here. A little... He will not be joining us this time. We have a full party of pre-builds that we're going to stick with all the way through Throne of Fall. Because this is going to be very hard, and a lot of the NPCs that are given to us in the game just aren't quite as optimized as they would need to be for what we're going to do. Let's see. Uh, of course. What do you need? Bandits. Vicious Magic bandits. They must have gone to advanced bandit school or something. They're trying to capture me. <laughs> a group of spellcasting bandits? This sounds like a tall tale. Listen, I'd love to give you a really long and detailed explanation of what's going on, but oh look, we're out of time. Oh. So. You would try to hide from us behind this unfortunate fool. Your cowardice proves as deadly as your reckless magic. You're the one trying to capture me. And I still don't know what you want, so I'd rather not let it happen. Get out of here before me and my new friends decide to eject a fist into your mouth. You there, stand aside and give me the girl. Surely you won't risk your life for a stranger. Um, I mean, a lot of my characters are... Good. I think we do have a chaotic good character. We definitely would. By my right as a wizard of fame, we oh, must I should. Sorry. <clears throat> I said I won't let you harm her. By what right do you hunt this woman? And he says he's a wizard of Thay. Wants to study her anomalous powers. Um. Hmm. Let me guess. By study, you mean dissect? You shall not be privy to my methods. It is none of your concern, and she is a danger to both herself and others. Hand her over now, or I shall cut you down. Yeah, I don't take kindly to threats. If you wish to die for this wild mageling, so be it. Away with you, you pompous creep! Oh. Oh. Something happened. Where did you go? <laughs> oh, a candor squad. Slaughter them all, and we'll sort this out once we find him. Hmm, and we all moved slightly. Guess she cast a teleport spell. Okay, so we have two bodyguards and a wizard. So the wizard needs to die. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Jeff should be throwing a dart. I don't think we necessarily... We're actually spaced out pretty nicely here. I don't think we need to worry too much about casting sleep here. Not for another encounter. Ah, so Jeff is aggroed. Move him. 
Madam Stab Select cannot take a hit. Position. Try to position here. Okay, well that helps, actually. That helps a lot. Thanks, Nira. But she did knock out Madam Stab Select. Yeah. Oh, nope. nope. Oh, man. I let him cast that. But he died anyway. That's good. Not bad. Jeff is dead. Nira killed Jeff. How rude. Hmm. Okay. But we can't afford to resurrect Jeff, so I guess we have second reload. Well, for that, I guess we just let her. We just let her die. Let's just let him take it. How rude. Hey, you. Really? Really? That's just great. What you get? You really bolster my faith in strangers. Couldn't have killed Jeff. Audacity. Okay, well, we gotta upload the reload counter. Get that to two. Okay. Both of those arguably self-inflicted. So we are looking for Thunderhammer Smithy. Is that this? I guess not. Seems this is the eastern edge of town. It is further to the south. Down here then. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky. Death feels Silky. extraordinary. Well, we can't do anything with Silky yet. But it seems like she'll chat with us later on. Thunder hammers me. Oh. Aha. Smith. I've got this. There's the guy. Shouldn't there be a guy in here? Oh, I can take his stuff. Yep, yep, yep. I cannot take his stuff. There's supposed to be supposed to be a guy in here. Not in here. Oh. Don't worry about me. Well, guess he'll be there later. Well, Jahira said that we needed to talk to the leader of the town. I wonder where we could find him. It would be old juggler. Sounds like a tavern. I remember, <laughs> uh, as a child, walking into one of these houses, finding those spiders. That was uh, quite a surprise. Or maybe that was at Nashkel? Second. They tell us to go to Nashkel, not Baragost. Yeah. We're not supposed to wander in around the wrong spot. Silly. We need to go further south. That's where we're going. All the way down here. We have got a journey ahead. We could do some questing around here. Let's just go straight there. I've got this.
This is going to be a bit of a hike. Probably going to need to rest along the way. Because I anticipate we're going to get into some... Oh, yep. And just defaulting. These Ogrelins are fairly strong, but, uh... Ow. Big hit. I think he needs to back up here. Should have used guard. Okay, so he's attacking God's plan. Big damage. Okay. That's good. That's good. You have a heal. We pack two of them. We need to have that remove fear. Because we can't have people just running off into the middle of nowhere. Now, remember, we do have um, SCS enabled with the max heals and max harms. So that helps us and our opponents. Why that heal hit so hard there? That was not luck. Hmm. You know, I'm thinking. Let's uh, let's have her with the halberd. Her with the sling, because at this, like, she only has ten hit points right now. Just about me. Some of these things can one shot. I serve the flaming fist. You there. You're under arrest for banditry and highway robbery. We know you're part of that bandit group who's been terrorizing the coastway. Give yourselves up, or there will be trouble. Um, you've got the wrong guys. We're no part of any bandit gang. Really now? Why should we believe you? Look, sir, we really don't want any trouble. Uh, like you, we're hunting down bandits in the region. <clears throat> so you're hunting the bandits? Well, who hired you to take on the bandits? Or are you doing it out of the goodness of your heart? Uh, no one hired us. I'll just tell the truth. We're adventurers who are just trying to help out the people at Sword Coast. Alright, maybe I was wrong about the bunch. You're free to go. Ah, the truth has set us free. We're out of here. Oh, well, I guess we got a combat before we go. <clears throat> we shall prevail. Well, with this, with this setup, let's actually turn off that auto pause. That's a bit much. End round. Get a bit smoother. Okay. Easy clap. You want it? You got it. Yeah, that worked much better. Very safe. Now we're out of here. You want it? You got Actually, it. <clears throat> another thing which was uh, allows you to scroll on the map. Turn that off. I want to. I don't know what that is then. I'll have to figure that out another time. Okay. Further south. 
Okay, still in the mountains. Seems like more mountainous area. <clears throat> Let's quick save. That journey went well. They don't always. For our journey, so... Almost sunrise now. We've got some enemies out here. Hobgoblin. Okay. Well, our formation should serve us pretty well for the early game. Working great so far. There's so many hobgoblins, though. This is very scary. So we need a sleep. This is where we need to drop sleep. I don't actually know if we can get all of them. I'm gonna try. Hopefully we wind up getting more than none. Okay, we did rocket on all of them. Okay, we got uh, we got a lot of them, actually. Let's, let's send these guys after the archers. We gotta beat these archers down. Okay, we'll send them. This guy didn't fall asleep. Oh, wow. Why is he walking forward? Oh, no. Um. <clears throat> and. So, he should have been throwing a dart. I guess it's fine, I guess, where he is. We'll just. As long as he doesn't keep going forward. But, um. Oh, Strongakus got hit by two things at once. We need to get a heal to him. We have no healing potions. We need to walk him over to God's plan. I'm gonna move face Adam Stabbington out of the way. Bigly McSmackington engage with that guy. Go. And then we'll bring these two onto the Hobgoblin, who I think will engage onto Jeff. Yeah, it's attack Jeff now. So Jeff is very squishy. So let's bring Madam Stabs a lot in the melee. While we wait on this heal. Hey, there's the heal. We're gonna go get into melee with um these pop goblins over here. Oh, okay. That was very lucky that that wasn't more damage. Um and as soon as we get into melee with them, oh that's fantastic. As soon as we get into melee with them, they have to stop shooting arrows. Oh, and let's actually, let's not go into melee with that step. Oh, okay, we're in great shape now. <clears throat> that was an excellent encounter. Um, we did have to use our second heal, so we're in a little bit of danger here. If we decide to press on. We could try to rest. Resting in the wilderness is really hard. Usually does not go well. Gemstone. Money. Yes. Okay. Got a few gemstones, some money, and a few arrows out of that. Not going to bother picking up those uh, care those uh, leather armors. They're only worth one gold. Um, far are we from the edge of the map? We are not very far into this map. Hmm, I feel like as long as the next encounter, as long as it isn't anything too insane, um, we could try to... What is that? Why are there dead people over there? What's going on here? Uh, do we, do we approach? What's, what's in her phone? What's going on here? Family amulet. Bunch of dead people. <clears throat> I think this probably has something to do with the quest. You want it? You've got it. Let's find out what that has to do. I I presume. Somebody's gonna want that amulet. Let's press on. Sticking to the road seems to have paid off. I don't we haven't encountered anything. Always come back and explore later. Don't touch me. I might catch something. <laughs> well, don't you just add to the local color. Quite the smashing bit of dress you wear there. 
I'll have to look into such sundries when I attend... When I next attend one of Lord Arrival's full dress costume affairs. I'll be the talk of Neverwinter, I would. I am unconcerned with such things. You have information about the area south of here. I suppose you are asking of the immediate south, such as Nashkel and its mines? Unfortunately, no. I've spent no time there. I've busied myself with destinations more distant, and have traveled to the great city of Athlatka. Uh, Athkatla. <coughs> on one occasion or another. You should really consider visiting there sometime. It is likely to be very popular in the future. None of this helps you now, of course. Cheerio. <laughs> this is Lord Foreshadow. Okay, well, I guess we're going to Athkatla. Thanks, Lord Foreshadow. Hey, and eight hours, we can get to Nashko. Hopefully this goes smoothly. Had good travel so far. Work. Okay. No wild encounters. <clears throat> That's very lucky. Usually, when uh, we are when this we going through this part of the game, there are bandits everywhere. Flight from Candlekeep barely behind you. The troubles facing the Sword Coast seem an unfamiliar blur to your fractured nerves. Gorion would not have you sit idle, however. And perhaps investigating local concerns will shed some light on your own predicament. How the iron shortage or the trouble in the Nashkill mines could possibly be linked to you, you have no idea. Don't worry about me. So here we are in Nashville. Stand away, citizen. Butterland says, identify yourselves. <laughs> I am Strongicus Maximus, and this is my band of fellow adventurers. I hear that this is a troubled region of Lee. Allow me to put our ourselves at your disposal during our stay here. If you're seeking to resolve troubles, welcome. If you're seeking to cause them, kindly take it elsewhere. Things are not good here, Strongest Maximus. Mm -hmm. um, what things aren't good? All I have heard are rumors and vague suspicion. I. what is good around here anymore? Our iron is rotten, and there is talk of demons in the mines. The lower levels have all but, have been all but abandoned until this crisis passes. And then there is the, com the question of Commander Brog. They have stripped him of that title, but I use it yet. He killed his wife and children in a rage one night, and all who saw him. Then he tore himself away and headed for the hills. He is out there still, and still we mourn, as much for him as for those he's taken. As for those he's taken. Fie on you now. You have brought tears to the eyes of a soldier. There's an inn. That's nice. Sad. This is another character that you can potentially get in your party. It's a monk. Um... <laughs> Are you some sort of circus performer? No, but I understand why you might think so. My name is Rasad. I am merely demonstrating some of the ways in which we sun-souled monks reflect our spiritual light through physical activity. May I tell you more about the Order of the Sun Soul? Uh, look, if you're just asking for money, here's a goal. Don't, don't spend it all in one thing. While I am grateful for your coin, I would be pleased to offer you something in... Aye, what are you supposed to be then? Some sort of kick puncher. Come on, take a poke at me. I dare you. I have come not to fight, but to demonstrate a few. Oh, so that's how it is, eh? You prance about, pretending to be some sort of hard man, but you're just a coward, right? I am not afraid to defend myself, but I do not seek out conflict without purpose. 
Instead, I wish to share the light of the moon maiden. Oh, I get it. You're some kind of Simperin's priest, just pretending you knows how to fight, but really just begging for coins, yeah? A sensual monk uses mind, body, and spirit in equal portions, but not to prove his martial superiority. Rather, he seeks to better the lives of those around him. Yeah, yeah, save it for temple school, boy. If you're not gonna fight nobody, I won't waste any more time on you. I guess enlightenment doesn't bring in as many coins as a good fist fight, eh, Rasad? No, you are correct. Many people find excitement only in physical action. To find true enlightenment, one must combine the physical with the mental and the spiritual. You seem like someone who would appreciate the tenets of my order. May I tell you more about Salune and the Sanctuary monks? Let's talk to him for a bit. Tell me why you worship Salune. Of the inheritors of Amonito's power, Salune is the most ardent foe of spiritual darkness. After all, she is the bright opposite of Shah, the mistress of the night. The Moon Maiden's reflected radiance inspires us to shine our inner light upon those in need. In the face of lies, we offer truth. In the face of hatred, we offer compassion. That sounds like a good philosophy. What more would you like to know? Tell me about the Order of the Sun Soul. The Order of the Sun Soul was founded in the days of ancient Netherim. Then it was called the Brotherhood of the Sun, and its members dedicated themselves to the Sun God, Amonitor. With the fall of Netherim, Amonitor vanished. Some believe his power now resides in other gods. Different factions of my order turn to him, most to Lathander, some to Selune, and a very few to Sunu. My sect of the Order reveres Sununi, the Moon Maiden. What more would you like to know? That's enough for now. Farewell. Farewell. Until we meet again, may you walk in moonlight. Thanks. He is quite good. He's kind of wimpy early on, but uh, once you level him up a bit, he is fairly strong. Picking him up is not a bad idea. Um, but we are looking for... I guess, like, the mayor of Nashville or something? <clears throat> there we go. Hey, the mayor of Nashville. Uh, you there. You have the look of a hardy, of hardy adventuring stock. I am Baron Gaskill, mayor of Nashville. Might I offer you a proposition? I was expecting some people to help with our troubles, but they seem to have forgotten us. If you are up to it, I would ask that you take a look at the mines southeast of town. Miners claim there are demons or some such roaming about, but they are a superstitious lot and prone to exaggeration. I am more concerned with the state of our ore. All iron removed from the mines is tainted somehow and useless for smithing. I would have you find out how it happens and who is behind it. You will be rewarded handsomely for your efforts. Okay, southeast is where we're going. That's this way. Let's go. See where the winds take us. Here's Minsk, another character that can join us. <laughs> Stand and deliver, that my hamster might have a better look at you. <laughs> I agree, Boo. They look to be friendly. Greetings. We are Minsk and Boo. We have traveled far to explore this land, but now my charge Dinah here has been taken from us. It was the gnolls, and once we have tracked them, I will beat sense into their heads until they release her. Accompany us, and bards will sing the deeds of Minsk and Boo, and friends. Um, so, I think... I'm not actually sure if I can do these quests without them. I'm going to accept the quest, and then I'm going to put them out of my party. The classic dilemma of a damsel in distress. distress. How could anyone decline? Let's take heart, fellow adventurers, for you have curried the favor of Boo, the only miniature giant space hamster in the realm. My friend and companion ever since my head, head wound, he will lead us to victory. Onward to the no stronghold in the west. Tarry not, we must go soon. We're going to kick him out. I am truly saddened that you wish Minsk and Boo to leave. If you have any need for a stout blade and an even stouter man to swing it, do not hesitate to call on me. He's one of the best characters, I think. If, uh... You haven't played through this game before. Minsk is amazing. Um, his character is pretty funny, but also very, very, very strong. 
be built out a lot of ways. Okay, so we're going southeast. Hope you're enjoying the uh, the stream so far, everybody. Are going pretty well. We're gonna get into some combat here in the mines. I think things will go a bit less smoothly. Oh, we forgot to rest. Let's go rest. Where did we walk past that? There's an inn. Oh, there. Definitely be resting. Yeah, need those spells back. We use sleep and two of our heals. Gonna have to have to go get that back. Once we get a little more leveled up, um, and these mines will help us do that, we will uh, have quite a bit more power. Right now we've only got 200 experience or so. Each of our characters. We are in dire need of XP. Uh, Nira said, Nira says, just fancy my luck seeing you stroll in here bald as day. I expected a hunt and a chase from the description, but who am I to argue easy coins in the purse? May the Lord of Shadows guide you swiftly to your death. I must, I would first know my attacker. Why are you doing this? Who I am is unimportant, though my name is Nira. What I am is a hunter of bounties, and on your head is a lovely little sum. Does this satisfy your request? I thought it wouldn't. No matter. Oh, she's over there. And we're hurt. We can't actually take very much damage here. Don't have very many spells. Now, the only spell I have access to right now is Remove Fear. So that might come in handy, but I hope we don't need it. We do have Divine Favor. Because we have this Priest of Tear. We could use the Divine Favor once we get into position. Put her maybe over... Done. Let's see how this combat develops, but I want to have her walk forward with Rongakas. Um, actually, yeah, and Bigly. Put them here. Oh, she's buffing herself up. Oh, no. Um, we need to do something about that. Okay. Run up at her. I guess we're going to send God's plan behind them. At once. Okay, and we're going, to, we're going to use Divine Favor on Bigly McSmack. Which hopefully... Oh no! We got double health. That, that's bad. Wow. Um, okay. So that, got, that, that Divine Favor didn't do anything then. It went into a held character. Wait, is that only on just her? Oh, it's on her. I guess we're gonna fight with her. I guess our, the sling is gonna be the best way. Hopefully we can land some hits. We haven't been able to hit her at all. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is not going well. We haven't hit her at all. Very low rolls. Oh my god, we missed on an 18. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we got ah, all these. What is this? Okay. Well then. We might be able to try that again if we can jump on. This is just SCS for it. Yeah? Um, oh my god. 